Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will be showing several examples of Flash VSR in action. Flash VSR, for those unfamiliar, is an acronym that stands for Video Super Resolution. It represents a cutting edge artificial intelligence model specifically engineered and developed to significantly elevate both the resolution and the overall visual quality of video content. Essentially, its core function is to transform video footage that is initially kind of low quality or appears blurry into a remarkably sharp and high definition visual experience. It is crucial to understand that Flash VSR is not merely a conventional upscaler that simply interpolates pixels. Instead, it operates as a sophisticated diffusion-based model, drawing parallels to the underlying principles of stable diffusion, which is renowned for its image generation capabilities. However, Flash VSR's unique application lies in its ability to generate VSR-enhanced video frames, all while meticulously maintaining temporal consistency and smoothness across the entire video sequence. So you get the idea of what Flash VSR is, and here is the GetUp page of the Flash VSR. Okay, here you can find real world examples like this. I'll show you. So this is the previous video, and I'll just slide this over here. And as wait, let me go back and I'll slide this so you can see the difference. Oh, so it looks pretty, pretty good. Now it looks HD as well. So moving to the workflow, if you guys like this video, then please do like, comment, and subscribe. That helps my channel a lot. So now let's go to Comfy UI and see a few examples and make no before. Let me show you the hugging face, where the, all the models are and where to put it. So here's the hugging face. Website of Flash VSR, okay. Oh, but we are not gonna download this. We're gonna download the Kajai version. So here are the three models that we have to download. One is the VAE folder and everything. So first go to your comfy UI, then go to models, then go to your VAE and open this and just put the folders right over here. So let me show you guys the Flash VSR. The starting profile will go in the diffusion models folder. And the last one, the VAE TC decoder that will go in the VAE folder. Okay, so here's the workflow. So as you can see, this is Kajai's workflow, Van Video Wrapper. So on the right, you can see the main file, and here is the Flash VSR decoder. This one right over here, VAE. And this is the second file over here, okay? This is Torch Compiler Settings, Van Video Model Loader, the main one over here, and VAE decoder. And this is the text encoder where we have to write the prompts. So the prompt I wrote was simple. The astronaut's floating. Okay, so this is the video. And this is the new nodes, van video, add flash VSR input. And over here, we'll take one step and five CFG. So I've combined the image compiler node so we can see the difference as well. So this is the video that was generated by Flash VSR, and this is side by side. So as you can see on the right hand side, the astronaut and the stars behind it looks pretty, pretty good in high definition as well. So this adds a lot of detail to the image. Okay, let me just save this. Okay, so I've given all the files over here in my Patreon page. If you need any links, you can just visit this and the workflows here as well. And one more thing, if you haven't joined my Patreon page, please join as well. Okay, so I have a private community over there. Now let's get back to the video. So we'll take this video for the next example, the woman dancing. So first, we'll write over here, just a simple prompt, that woman dancing, that's it. So this is the video or let me show you guys this one. So I think this will not work that good because of the motion, as you can see, a very high motion intensity dance and zooming in as well and out and all. Okay, and as you can see, this took me around. There's a few examples as well. So on the right hand side was the edited video. Hi, you look so far away up there. I'm just cozy. <laughs> 
Hi. Okay. And over here is the video example number two that we were doing. I feel like I could just stay here all day, you know? So as you can see, it hasn't edited, but some part is blurry and lagging behind. So it's for easy and moderate motion that this new model will shine for jittery and everything it will make for high motion videos. So over here, I just wrote woman clapping and here is the result. And over here, over on the right hand side is the new video. So as you can see, I zoom in on her fingers clapping. As you can see, it's so much better. Okay, now I'll just save this image or the, sorry, the video over here save preview, and let's take a few more examples so we can thoroughly see if this is good or not. But let me change it to UniPC. So the next example will be UniPC. I'll just forward it a bit. So this is the UniPC one. So there's literally like very minimalistic change in UniPC or ULAR. So this is another example that we are taking. Vertical video, and it's Everything is the same using UniPC. Okay, so here it is. On the right hand side is the new video. As you can see the face, it has sharpened the face. It's not blurry. The only downside is the dress. It's a bit weird, but still looks pretty good. Okay, so I'll again do, this was UniPC. Now I'll do ULAR and show you if there's any difference or not. So. So it took me around one minute for the video and I'm using the RTX 4090. So this is the ULAR. So this is another example that we're gonna take. So a woman showering EULA, taking a shower. That is it. This is the video. Now, as you can see, the, on the right hand side is so much improved, enhanced, and high quality. You can even see the droplets on her arm. So this was the flash VSR. Okay, now let's end this video right over here. If you like this video, and then please do like, comment, and subscribe on my channel. Thank you. You guys for watching.